The new container terminal is located in the southwest of the existing port of Walvis Bay and will consist of two 5,000 TEU bursts upon commissioning in 2017 with a key wall length of 600 meters. The design top elevation of wharf at Cope Line is 5 meters above chart datum, whereas the water depth of the new basin is 14.4 meters below chart datum. The water depth immediately alongside the key wall is 16 meters below chart datum, up a distance of 30 meters from the key wall Cope Line. The berthing structure is designed to accommodate operation of vessels, up to 8,000 TEU. The design annual throughput capacity of the terminal is 750,000 TEU minimum. The gauge width of the container key crane is world standard of 100 feet. Area of the storage yard is about 13 hectares. The infrastructure facilities for the port include road, storage yard, power supply, and distribution system, lighting, water supply, and drainage, main terminal building, maintenance workshop building, security gate and the associated facilities, and railway link and terminal. The project also includes a passenger liner jetty with a length of 376 meters. The jetty is designed for berthing operation on both sides. The outer side is for operation of 92700 GT passenger liner and the inner side is for berthing operation for workboats. Dredging Works and Reclamation A cutter suction dredger with a dredging capacity of 3,000 cubic meters is about to dredge the berth basin, turning basin, and foundation trench. Suitable sandy material obtained from dredging the new basin will be used in reclamation of the new container terminal. The campsite, including the site office and living area, is located six kilometers away from the project site. There will be temporary site office, pre-casting yard for concrete Chinese pod, steel processing yard and pre-casting yard for pre-cast slabs at the reclaimed land close to the end of the causeway. A cutter suction dredger will be adopted to pump the sandfill material to the section near shore and protected by sandfill bags to form the island. Adopt punch and drill method to form the hole for the cast-in-place piles. Crawler crane is employed to raise up the reinforcement cage and place into the pile hole. Concrete pouring will be carried out with tremie pipes and concrete pump truck. Excavation of the foundation trench of the transverse beams. Erection of reinforcement bars, erection of formworks and concrete pouring will be carried out on the temporary island. The temporary island will be removed by using the dredger coupled with a small cutter suction dredger. The material generated from removal of the temporary island will be backfilled to the rear side of the container yard area. The construction sequences for the superstructure includes erection of bottom formwork of the longitudinal beams, erection of reinforcement steel, concreting to the longitudinal beams, installation of the precast slabs, cast in situ concrete topping, and installation of facilities such as fenders, bollards, etc. Construction of passenger liner jetty and the pumping station platform. The size of cast in place piles platform is 100 meters by 17 meters. Steel platform will be installed by crane barge comprising 1500 ton barge and 150 ton crawler crane. Auxiliary piles are installed by using a 90 kilowatt vibratory hammer. Adopt the same construction method as for the construction of the container key deck to construct the cast-in-place piles and superstructure. Ground treatment. Use dynamic compaction method for the ground treatment in District A and District C and use vibroflotation method for District B. District D will be treated with a leveling and a compaction roller. The shore protection work will be commenced from both west side and east side of the revetment for the causeway. Tow protection work to the revetment will be carried out 
by 40 cubic meter, bottom split hopper barge, and excavator on barge. Chinese Pode will be installed by 150 ton crawler crane. After completion of the treatment to the rear soft foundation, the pipelines for fire water supply, drainage, and communication cables will be installed. Then a layer of crushed rock subbase is laid before laying CBM. Storage yard is paved with interlocking blocks and the roads are surfaced with bituminous concrete. The complete key crane is transported to site by specialized transport ship and directed to the crane rail through the temporary rail. Main terminal building, maintenance workshop, security gate, power substation and railway. The first milestone completion of reclamation at the 22nd month. The second milestone, completion of key deck construction at 24 months. The third milestone, completion of key crane installation at the 31st month. The fourth milestone, completion of the project at 36 months.